this is another QAZ WSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change an object's color in real time. So, uh, this involves just a little bit of Python scripting, uh, just a very simple Python script. If you do want to download it, link is in the description below, and then you can just modify it from there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch up this bottom window just a little bit, switch it to the logic editor. Uh, top center of the screen, we're going to switch it from Blender Render to Blender Game. And we'll stretch out this side panel just a little bit as well. So I'm going to want to change the color of this cube after the game starts. So first I'm going to add a sensor. This can be um, this can be sort of the trigger for what you want to change the color. I'm going to use the uh, space bar, so whenever I press the space bar it will change the color. We're then going to add a Python controller. So then we'll split the 3D view, and on that new window we'll change that to a text editor. And we'll add a new script. Uh, I'm going to do change color. So next we're going to do, uh, so on the first line we're going to do from BGE import logic. Okay, and after that on the next line we're going to do own equals equals logic dot get current controller and on another line down we're gonna do oh wait I'm sorry we need a dot owner after get current controller a line or two down from that we do own dot color equals open bracket and then here we're going to give it a list of numbers that will eventually um, become a color so basically it is RGBA, which is red, green, blue, and alpha is the order of the list. And it's from 0 to 1. So if I do 1, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma, 1, and then close bracket, this is telling it to use a red value of 1, a green value of 0, and a blue value of 0, and an alpha value of 1. So then I so then we're going to link the script to that Python controller, change color there. And one last thing we need to do is with the cube selected on our material, we need to scroll down and we need to check mark object color. So then we also need to change the viewing mode to texture. So now if we hit P, we hit spacebar, the object changes to red. Now of course we can change and mix and match these colors by just changing these numbers here. So now we hit the spacebar and it goes yellow. So uh, next, um, this next part is just going to make it a little bit easier to change the object color to whatever you want, all from one script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three properties. First one's going to be R, next one's going to be G, and next one's going to be B. So then in our script here, in this first value, I'm going to type in own, open bracket, quotation, or apostrophe. I used the apostrophe. So I'm going to do um, apostrophe r, close across, apostrophe, close bracket. And I'm going to semi-repeat that step. So I'm going to do own, open bracket, apostrophe, uh, G apostrophe close bracket and for the third value I'm going to do own open bracket apostrophe B apostrophe close bracket so this will basically change the object color based on these properties so if we hit play hit spacebar it goes black we can change these properties if we hit P hit spacebar now you see it goes green so that means that if we wanted to then we could have a keyboard sensor so if we start these out at zero um, we could actually add an AND controller wire the spacebar sensor into there and add a property actuator and have this property actuator add so then we can add to the property R let's say a value of 0 0.1 so then if we hit play every time we hit spacebar it'll go just a little bit more red until it can't become any redder. So, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you all very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.